What's up, y'all? I'm back. I am back. I know. Listen, I know I took some time away. I needed a break. I needed a break, and I'm going to keep it real with you. I wasn't sure that I was going to come back. I was not sure if I was going to come back to YouTube, but I'm back, and there's a lot of things that are going on, and if you've been following me on Instagram, then you will know what's going on with me, okay? But I'm back. I missed y'all. I got a haircut. I trimmed my hair a little bit. Come here. I missed you. Oh, can I can I get a hug? Can I? <sighs> Hugs. Heart to heart. Heart to heart. I missed y'all so much. But you know how I am. I like to pull away, live life, do my shadow work, and fill back up. And then when I come back, I always feel like I have a lot of things to share. And there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be sharing. Not in this video, in the other videos that are coming after this. This video. And to the new people that are watching me, welcome to my channel. My name is Savon. I'm a psychic medium and angel communicator, energy healer, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you pick a number. And then I'm going to share messages based on that number. And what we're looking at, the intention of this video, Spirit said, tap into what everyone is being challenged with right now and what their next steps are. All right. First day of Mercury being in retrograde, it's April the 1st. There's a huge eclipse coming on the 8th. There's a lot of intense energies going on right now. People are feeling untethered, stressed, putting pressure on themselves. They're feeling the pressure of life. A lot of people are going through emotional ups and downs and aren't able to really make sense of what they're feeling and what's happening. They just know they don't feel comfortable. They're not at peace and they're not happy. And so what I want to do is to share as much as I can, pour as much as I can into you um, that speaks to what is it that you're being challenged with and what's your particular next step, okay? All right, here we go. You know the drill. Take a big deep breath, close your eyes, exhale, and I want you to just ask your guides and your angels, what is the number that is for you? Is it going to be number one, number two, number three? Pay attention to what comes to you. Trust in what you see, hear, feel. You may just get one number, you may get more than one, but I want you to trust that. Ask them right now, what's the number? Give it to me, give it to me, angels. All right, and I have multiple decks here that I'm gonna use, so card number one. We're using the goddess deck, and we're gonna see what is it that you're being challenged with, and what are your next steps? I really miss y'all. I really miss y'all, but I... Listen, so you cannot make this stuff up. Card number one, that's your card right there. See that? I'm not editing this out. That's your card, card number one. Here we go. I don't know what it is. What does it say? Quiet time. Quiet time. Take some time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Okay. Take the card in. Card number one, come here, come here. I'm just kidding. Card number one, this is what's going on with you. You're stressed, you're overworked, okay? I know you haven't been getting a lot of sleep. And I also know that you are addicted to being busy. Physically busy, mentally busy, okay? If this makes sense, please leave me a comment and let me know. You know I love reading your comments. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And because all of that is going on, it's like you've gotten away from yourself, from your center, and you are just on automatic, autopilot. Getting up every day, doing the same thing over and over again. I also feel with you, card number one, that you over-criticize yourself. And you get frustrated when you feel like you're not getting the results that you want out of life. But the results that you want can only come when you are centered card number one. Okay? So I'm also getting the word distraction. Spirit is showing it to me clearly. 
all this busyness that's going on, all the things that are going on in the mind, they're distractions to something deeper that you are avoiding. And this eclipse this week and next week is going to intensify that unless you finally deal with it. What I'm sensing, because right now my heart is palpitating and I can feel a heaviness. I feel that what you are avoiding are emotional disappointments, emotional hurts, emotional sadness, emotions that have to do with relationships that did not quite turn out the way that you wanted to, whether they are personal relationships, romantic relationships. I also feel card number one, and if this is you, please leave me a comment. You are avoiding dealing with grief, grief of something that died in your life, whether it's someone or something, something that you lost, something that changed, and you haven't dealt with it. And so the quiet time, the reason why this popped out is because you need quiet time. Quiet time meaning no mental distractions, no physical distractions. So now you're fully present with the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, and the etheric body. And from there, you can start to feel what needs to be felt so the healing and transformation can happen. Okay? Because this is a year of deep healing and deep transformation for you. If this makes sense, please let me know. If any of this resonates, let me know. But your healing and your transformation for you actually comes by sitting with yourself. And I'm seeing the color yellow. Beautiful, bright, vibrant yellow. Yellow is the divine mind of spirit. It also aligns with the solar plexus. So it's about letting go of the need to be in control, card number one. Letting go of the need to always be busy, be doing things, which is also control. Learning how to lean into trust, to beingness. The solar plexus expands which means your personal power expands when you relax and you are centered and you take that quiet time because now you're going into your inner temple. You're connecting to your God source self. And when you do that, your awareness expands, your personal power expands and it gives you what it is that you want, card number one, a sense of connection, feeling supported, and knowing exactly where you are being guided. Because right now you don't really know. You're running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Just like. <laughs> and that's not the way. It's draining. It's exhausting. You have anxiety. You're not sleeping. I know because I can see it. I'm psychic. They're showing me everything. And so what you want to do, your next step is to develop a practice in the morning or at night before you go to bed where you're just sitting in the silence. You're not visualizing anything. Because I already know, you're going to start visualizing stuff and that's going to be your distraction from feeling. You want to just sit in the silence. Spirit, I'm here. I'm going to sit and just have an experience and be with the silence. The silence will be what you need to reconcile what else, what's not silent, what's keeping you from being at peace. A lot of things may come up. You may start crying and that's okay, but you wanna sit in the silence. You wanna start for 10 minutes and then gradually increase it and make that your daily practice, sitting in the silence, sitting in the nothingness of who you are within, right? It's just a space, an open space. There's no identity, there's no anything. It's just awareness, the nothingness. And you're sitting with that and being with that. For some of you, it's going to feel very uncomfortable because it's going to take you back to a place in your childhood when you were left alone and bad things happened, when you were left alone and you were in fear 
The silence is going to trigger you in some way, but stick with it, see it through. Time yourself. Maybe you can do five minutes and then eventually you do 10 minutes, all right? But the quiet time is needed and the silence is needed, the stillness is needed for your healing, for your transformation, for the inner revelation about what it is that you're trying to figure out about your life that can only come from the silence and the stillness, all right? I love you. I trust that that has blessed you. If it makes sense in any way, leave me a comment. You know I like reading the comments and everybody else does too, and it helps the video. And if you wanna give me a super thanks, you can go ahead and do that too. Okay, card number two, here we go. I'm being guided to use the fairy and oracle deck. That was the goddess oracle deck. That was really good, wasn't it? I'm like, you know what? I thought I was gonna be rusty coming back on here, but, you, but I'm not, because I actually just meditated for a full hour and just FYI, whenever I do these videos, I always call on the angels and the ascended masters and the light of spirit and truth to flow through this camera. So no matter who is watching it, everything's always aligned with love, with the highest truth, and you always receive exactly what you need energetically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, so yeah, okay, card number two. Here we go, they're telling me to cut it again. Dang, they're telling me to, damn, okay. All right, take the middle card, okay. Card number two, this is for you. Visualization. Visualization! Visualization, yeah. Visualization, okay. Card number two. There's a lot going on with you. There is a lot going on with you, okay? You're stuck in the past. I'm just gonna be blunt, cause I ain't got time. I gotta move on to card number three. We can't leave card number three waiting. Card number two, you are stuck in the past, okay? And your mind, some part of your mind, some part of your emotions is still stuck on an experience something that has happened to you that you have not let go of and you're not able to move forward. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing I feel and I see is not only are you not able to move forward, but you're not able to see where it is that you wanna go. A big part of creating the life that we want is seeing ourselves doing it, being it, experiencing it, right? When we see it, the subconscious receives it our neural pathways start to get created around what we're seeing and feeling. The nervous system adjusts to that and we start to attract it. We start to do something called subconscious correlation. But card number two, all you see is what is wrong, what happened, what you don't have, that the glass is half full, okay? And it's because you haven't forgiven that experience that has happened not necessarily giving the situation or the person a pass, but forgiving meaning letting it go, making peace with the past. That's what you need to do. They're telling me to look at this card, okay? So I don't know if you can see it, but that butterfly mermaid person should be looking the other way, looking outward towards you and smiling. But the image is of their back. Their back is turned and they're looking down and it gives this energy of sadness. So your sadness, those emotional burdens that you're carrying that, that you just buried and you didn't fully deal with, it's weighing you down and you're not able to fly. And you're not able to really see yourself. This is the thing too. When our energy is clear and we are not burdened and we've done the forgiveness, we've done the inner work, guess what happens? Now the soul within us, the intelligence within us works through our nervous system, our mind, our imagination, and it starts to give us vision. Where do you think the visions come from? The dreams come from? You think it comes from out of there? Over there? 
way over there by that essential oil diffuser. I just wanted to shout, shout out to my essential oil diffuser that I bought. It smells like lemongrass in here. <laughs> it comes from the soul. But if the mind is distracted and weighed down and you're stuck in the past, you can't receive what's coming from within, what wants to be emerged, right? So visualization, it's a reminder. You cannot visualize and see yourself as you wish yourself to be if you're still stuck in the past and seeing yourself through the past, through that little bitty keyhole. I can't see nothing. I don't see nobody. Where y'all at? Oh, there you go. But when you forgive and you clear the past, right? Now, wow, I can see everything. I didn't realize the lights were turned on. I am blessed. Things are happening. Wow, spirit told me to go over there. I wouldn't have recognized that. But now I can see it. I can see the signs. Does that make sense? It's not just about, oh, visualize, visualize, visualize. Because you can visualize all you want. If there's still things to be clear that's holding you back emotionally, mentally, it's fruitless. It's fruitless. And it's important for you to understand that card number two. If any of this resonates, please let me know. I'm going in a different direction. Because I know for card number one, I saw yellow. For you, I see green. Green is healing. But green is about connection. You are disconnected from your heart, which is why you're not, you can't see yourself being the way that you want to be. Because everything comes from here. But this is clogged up. The pipes is dirty, boo. And we got to get way down in there. Okay, you saw that orb. I know you saw that orb. Thank you for showing up. Um, we got to get into here. And we got to heal that. We got to break that apart so the heart can be free again. Okay? Somebody watching this was cheated on. Somebody watching this was betrayed. I'm seeing a lot of different things. You were stabbed in the back. You were hurt. You were lied to. Right? All the things that we all experience... But now it's time for you to make peace with what happened and to release the emotion. That's what forgiveness is. It's giving back. It's creating a space of light that replaces the pain, okay? Doesn't mean it's okay. It means you realize you need to let all those emotions go and replace it with love. Replace it with light so you can get back to you again, okay? Someone else that's watching this went through abuse. Abuse from family members, a family member, and I also feel abuse in a personal relationship. You don't have to leave a comment if you don't want to tell your business. Or you can leave a comment so you can know that I'm supporting you and other people are supporting you. Other people, if that person leaves the comment, make sure you send them some love and light because you're not alone. This is one big community here. All right? But I know you went through abuse and I know it's hard to open up and trust again. And this is the thing too about the green. Green is healing, but green is about the heart, the humanitarian, connecting to the heart, okay? You're a natural giver. You love to give, but you're closed off. You don't trust people anymore. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust your emotions. And so a big part of this is remembering that your light is reliable, that your heart is reliable. Even though you've been in situations where you might have been manipulated, you might have been dealing with a narcissist and you thought you were following your heart, you were doing the right thing and you realized you weren't. That's okay, but we gotta forgive that. We gotta heal that. So then you can rely on, realize that you can rely on your your light. Trust means reliability. And if you're not trusting your heart, then you won't get the vision and you won't believe in the vision and trust the vision to move forward in your life. Does that make sense? And that's why the visualization card came out for you, card number two. Okay, it's there. 
once you clear and do the healing work, which you can do with my videos, or you can book a soul healing session, anybody, I would love to work with you. Once you're clear, then the visions will come the way that they're supposed to. They always come from the soul. But they can't get through right now because we're clogged up in the heart. All right? The last thing I feel strongly is you also have to release the blame. You're blaming yourself for those things that have happened to you. And that's also keeping you stuck. It's like, wait a minute, I can't, I, wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to move, but... It wasn't your fault. It was not your fault, okay? So your next steps, okay? Your next steps, forgiveness of yourself for anything that you may have done towards yourself, held against yourself, okay? And then forgiveness of whoever it is that hurt you, just letting it all go letting it all go and making peace with it. So you can be available to what wants to come into your life and move through you and move through your mind so you can start to see yourself as you really are. So you can see your life. So you can move towards that potential. And so the past will just be the past, all right? If any of this has resonated with you, do me a favor, please leave me a comment. I love you, and I thank you for your support. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Let's go to card number three. I'm emotional now. My energy just changed. I know y'all can feel it. Like, I put a lot in these videos, but when I'm giving messages, I literally see faces, and I can see who's going to watch it. And sometimes, and it's my boundaries. I'm a Pisces rising. But sometimes I really connect to the faces that I'm seeing, and I can feel what they're feeling and what they go through. And so, um, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. It's okay. I can handle it. I can handle it. The alarm, it never fails. Every time I do these videos. Okay. Card number three. This is the deck that I'm going to use. And we're going to look at what is it that you're being challenged with. And what are your next steps and this is the thing a lot of times we can be challenged in a lot of different ways in our life there could be something going on here something's going on with the bills the you know my man ain't happy my woman's not happy the kids but if we can understand spiritually what we're being challenged with right rather than what's going on in our physical life once we deal with what's happening spiritually, then everything in our physical life starts to fall into place because now we're clear and we're getting the guidance from within as to how to prioritize, what the next right step is, who to call, who to block, okay? But what happens is when we're challenged, we focus on our physical life and not the spiritual. But the spiritual always has to come first. I don't care. Emergencies can happen, yes. But if you're spiritually disconnected, then you're responding from a place of disconnection. And you're, respond you're not responding from awareness, from love, from light, which is your power. And that's what you want to be able to do. And that's why I'm doing this video, okay? All right, I'm gonna be quiet. Let's go to card number three. Card number three is like, wait a minute, when am I going to get my card? Here we go. Let me shuffle the cards. Card number three. What are you being challenged with? Here we go. Boom. Boo. Yow. Boo. Yow. Okay. Focus. This is so interesting. Focus. 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 I'm going to get that to you again, card number three. Okay? So this is what's going on with you. What I'm getting from spirit is you're focused on the wrong things. Okay? And I know I talked a lot about distractions earlier, but with you, what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing literally is focusing on the wrong people. Focusing on the wrong situations. Being a people pleaser. 
giving your power away. And I see this image for you, card number three, of a spider web. And you're trying to make your way across, tiptoeing, like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm on this spider web, but you're getting stuck. You're stuck in the web of other people's drama. And I think for you, maybe you might feel like, well, I'm just being a good friend. I'm helping them. I'll have this conversation. I'll sit and listen. But it's like, no, it's taking your focus away from where it needs to be. And you're stuck in these web, these many different webs of drama. That's all I see around you. I just see you trying to like move and wiggle because you can't because you're in the spider web. Okay. And, and I love you card number three. I love you, but I got to give it to you straight because this is what's coming through. And this is why I know you guys watch the videos. I feel that it's draining you. I feel that, are, that there are opportunists around you, meaning energy vampires, people that love the attention, that love your light, and you love giving it because you're such an empath and a giver, but it's not an equal exchange. It's depleting you, okay? And a lot of the thoughts and the emotions and the feelings that you've been having aren't even yours. You're carrying other people's emotional and psychic burdens, card number three. Come here. I'm about to spray some aura. Clear that. Stop it. No, I love you. No, but you do. And this is, you know what? Interesting. This is a cleansing spray. Yeah. You need to cleanse yourself of those spider webs and all those energy vampires and all those people so you can get back to you again. Okay? I'm seeing someone crying. Either you were crying or someone was crying to you and dealing with a lot of stuff. And this is the thing that I have to say, because I used to be, I'm a recovering people pleaser. Want to be there for everybody, want to rescue everybody. It's really hard for me, it used to be really hard for me to watch people deal with personal issues and me not do anything because my inner child sat back and watched my family, my mother, my aunts and uncles deal with things and I couldn't help them. So that was my trauma response. A lot of us that get that over involve ourselves in other people's drama, it's because when we were little, we couldn't save the people that we loved. Sit with that because that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from. And the best way to, to support somebody is to hold space, but to support yourself first. So then from a place of fullness, through your awareness, you can discern what's the best way to support the person. You can support without rescuing. You can support and remind them. Did you pray about it? Did you meditate about it? Have you seeked, sought help, support? What are you doing to help yourself, right? It sounds harsh, but it's not. It's a way where you are empowering other people to empower themselves but they'll never be empowered if you're enabling them and they know they can always come to you. Some people don't really, and this is for you card number three, you're dealing with some people, I feel like it's family members, but you're dealing with some people that complain all the time, that always have drama going on. They're not changing anytime soon. They're not interested in looking within and doing the shadow work. They just like your attention. And that's how they show up to get attention, to be liked, to get what they want out of you. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something else. Because your focus isn't on you, it feels like life is just passing you by. And it doesn't feel like you're passionate about anything, you're excited about anything. Because you're weighed down with everybody else, but when your focus isn't here and it's out there, you have no power to create, you have no power. Your awareness is with everybody else. And so it's like you're so full of everyone else, but so empty of you. Okay? And we need to have boundaries. We need to learn how to say no, card number three. We need to know to learn how to say no. No is a complete sentence. And what I feel for you that you're challenged with, and I'm seeing the color pink, is you're afraid of being alone 
You're afraid of people perceiving you in a negative light. You're afraid of the rejection of abandonment, all childhood stuff. And so the way that you subconsciously try not to experience that again is keeping people around by being involved in their business, keeping people around, letting them cord you, letting them siphon off of your light. But it's not serving you and it's depleting you. And you've been dealing with depression, sadness, a lot of stuff that's not yours. Okay? And so because I love you, I want to tell you the truth. If any of this resonates, please let me know. I also feel, card number three, somebody's watching this that's either been giving money or has given money. And it's time to start saying no. It's time to say no. And realize that you're being taken advantage of. And you're, you're the one that's allowing it. Okay? And so your next steps are boundaries. Okay? Your next steps are getting back into your spiritual practice. But doing a spiritual cleansing, a serious cleansing, and taking some time away. Disconnecting from everyone else and connecting back to yourself. Unless these are people you live with. But if it is, go in your room or get out of the house and just take some time to yourself to get back to yourself again. And then ask yourself, what do I want for me? I'm always there for everybody else, but what do I want for me? And if you don't know, that's a good sign that tells you that you've normalized being what everyone else wants and it's why you don't know what you want for yourself. And it's why you need that time to focus on you why you need to clear people's energy out of your space, their thoughts, their emotions, their cords. You can listen to my angelic cleansing video or you can book a soul healing. I would love to work with you. There's tools that are available, but you need to manage your energy better, manage your light better, manage your emotional, mental, and psychic boundaries better and physical boundaries. So you can have the power and the clarity to start moving towards what you want so you can feel more fulfilled. So you can feel like you're getting what you want out of life. All right? And so you can stop being frustrated and upset or feeling like other people are getting what they want and you're not getting what you want. You're creating that. And you can uncreate it. And that's how. If this has blessed you in any way, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I know I share a lot of information. Some of card number one may resonate. Some of card three may resonate. But let me know. Thumbs up the video. If you want to book a soul healing, the link will be below. If you want a soul reading, I would love to work with you to look at a lot of these things on a deeper level. It's what I do. It's what I love doing. It's what I'm passionate about. Many of you have given super thanks in the past. If you want to super thank me again, go right ahead. But leave a comment. Thumbs up the video. Take care of yourselves. It's great to be back. I've missed you. I love you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.